because you don't want to frustrate yourself or waste your own energy or waste your time working with someone that don't want to be worked with. So um, you just do what you can. You help who you can do. Then you have to have some discernment. You know, uh, everything is not ripe and ready right now, so you don't pull it from the tree. Uh, so you have to discern who's ready, who's prepared to receive what you have to offer. And so when I stand on a Sunday morning, it's a whole mixed bunch in the crowd. And I can't be concerned about those who don't want it. I got to dial in for those who do. And I can't frustrate my anointing based on those that don't want it, who are just there to be there or dare to criticize or otherwise. So um, you can wound your gifts fooling with people who abuse it. That's why the Bible says don't cast pearls before swine. Because you can try to help somebody, help somebody, and you want them, you really see your gift and you know what they can do, but if they don't want it, and you keep pouring your gift into something that don't want it, it's going to leak out. You're just wasting your time, and it's going to wound your gift, wound your anointing, wound, you know, whatever you have to offer. Yeah. So in helping, you can't, you would love to help everybody, but you can't help everybody. That's why you have to just kind of discern and see who you really can help and who you can't. And that's why a lot of people get trapped because they just try to help everybody. They just, anybody need it, I see they need it, and you just try to do everything, and you just wear yourself out. Then when somebody who really needs help come around, you wore out. You drain, you have nothing to give because you wasted it on the wrong people.